<clears throat> the most popular video that I ever posted on YouTube, by far, I didn't think it would be that popular, was me actually spinning up a gyroscope, placing it over to the center of this magnet and showing that it would spin basically indefinitely, but also showing that it would have massive braking. You actually see you have marks on top of this gyroscope. Now obviously the flywheel is brass. Now here are the two incredibly stupid, insane, ignorant, and dumb statements that were perpetually made about the most popular video that I made. Just absolutely pathetic. The point was completely missed. I recently got done making a video about a Samsung phone too, exploding, and Samsung recalled the phone, and everybody pointed out how horrible Apple is. Apple's evil. Well, the point of that video was, it had nothing to do with Apple, it had to do with the fact that the Samsung phones were exploding and catching on fire. This is the same sort of intellectual nescience, basic stupidity, ignorance, nonsense. So let's address the two things that people kept saying. Point number one, let me teach you a lesson, and it's a lesson you never learned in high school, and it's a lesson you never learned in college, because I went to both of those, by the way. You never learned the difference between a description is not an explanation, okay? You keep quoting two things to me. Lens law, well that's lens law, those are eddy currents. Eddy current and lens law. Yeah, those are nice descriptions. <clears throat> Except you're forgetting the damn fact that the actual attributes here are radically different from here. As I explained in my free book, Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism, which is, by the way, on archive.org, third edition of working on the fourth and the fifth, probably be a sixth edition, that you don't understand, and I'd like to cuss right now, but I'm not going to cuss, is A, descriptions are not explanations, and B, any Gauss meter will tell you that there's an intermediate zone, and this is a gigantic thousand dollar monster magnet, by the way. There's a high Gaussian flux right here at the center. There's an intermediate zone right here, and right at the edge is a high Gaussian flux, usually almost equal to the center. High, intermediate, and then high again. <clears throat> See, by you stating Lenz Law and eddy currents in your pathetic stupidity and ignorance, I hate to say that, but that's exactly what it is. You are missing... Let me spin up the, mag, the gyroscope here. Then I'll get to the other point. The pathetic ignorance that I keep hearing is eddy currents, lens law, eddy currents, lens law. Well, why don't you shut up for a second and then learn something. This gyroscope will sit here right at the center of high Gaussian flux. Spin and spin and spin. But if I place it right over here near the edge, you want to test this yourself, it'll immediately start breaking. You see the breaking? I've got marks on the uh, brass gyroscope. You see it breaking there? Yeah, it's breaking. See, in your ignorance, and that's okay. Not knowing is okay. Wanting to know the answers, that's a good thing. Simply saying eddy currents and uh, lens law, you see, that's just like a, a parrot repeating something that they learned in high school. Like, ah, that's an eddy current, that's an eddy current. Rawr, rawr. Okay, in your stupidity, what you fail to realize is that the Gaussian flux here is exactly the same as here. But you see, <clears throat> this is the point that you don't know, is that Gaussian flux is the same thing as measuring water coming out of a faucet as water going down a drain. While they could have measured the same amount of flux, the nature of water shooting out of a drain is radically different than water that is flushing down a toilet or going down your bathtub drain, to use a very loose analogy. So if you want to use the word eddy current on me, then you're applying something here that doesn't exist here because the magnetic flux here, as measured by a Gauss meter, is the same as it is here. But we have radically different interactions we do here versus here. Do you understand that point? Do you connect? Do you make sense now? Do you get it? Are you getting it? Are you trying to put two and two together here? Well, that brass flywheel has a lot of copper in it, though we're talking about Lenz Law. Well, that's great. Now, why don't you try to explain the difference between the fact that there's a radical di different interaction between centrifugal magnetism here and centripetal magnetism here. Why don't you try to explain that with any book that you have on magnetism? Lenz Law isn't going to explain it. A Gauss meter isn't going to explain it. Do you know why? Because there's no branch of modern science that knows how the hell a magnet works. They have no idea that there's a vortex on each and every quote-unquote pole of a magnet. A magnet doesn't have poles, it actually has the inverse of counter space. 
It has centrifugal divergence and centripetal convergence. If you want to say that the flow rate of water shooting out of a fire hose, for example, or water shooting out of a, a spigot on your sink, is the same as the uh, same flow rate as water going down a drain, or water uh, going down a toilet, you know, going uh, through the turbine of a uh, hydroelectric dam. You want to say those two are the same? <sighs> you'd be half right, but you'd be still entirely wrong. I had a lot of other people say, well, it's depending on how you spin the magnet. You know, I saw you spin that magnet up clockwise. Let me tell you what, brother. You want to grab a magnet and gyroscope like this. I don't care if you spin this uh, gyroscopic flywheel clockwise or counterclockwise. The results are the same. Done it a hundred times. Well, more than a hundred times. The results are the same. So, no. Let me spin it the other way now. It doesn't matter which way you spin it. Extremely high Gaussian flux at the point of centripetal convergence. Extremely high flux. You can immediately, as soon as I bring it over here, it'll immediately start breaking. Spinning down, it's spinning down. There we go. It'll sit here and spin. You know, obviously we still have friction in the bearings. This is actually a very high efficiency gyroscope. This is a brass flywheel, most of which is copper. If you repeat to me, any currents, any currents, or lens law, lens law, lens law, rah, rah, like an idiot, then you have proven to me what I have been saying for years and years and years, is that college didn't teach you how to think. It taught you how to repeat crap, like a worthless damn parrot trying to pass a test and get an A. College didn't teach you anything. It didn't teach you how to think, how to reason had to engage the dialectic. It taught you how to pass tests. This is also the reason why doctors are the second leading cause of death, right after cancer. You weren't taught how to think. Okay? I have, on my most popular video on YouTube, heard the words, well, that's lens law, well, that's an eddy current, well, that's lens law, well, that's an eddy current, over and over and over and over and over again. Okay, brother man, you want to apply that to this because the Gaussian flux is the same here as it is here. Here, here, same, 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 same. Radically different effects here as we have here. I've explained the reason why for this in my book. I've explained the reasons why for this in countless videos. So the next person that says lens law or eddy current, you can go take a hike back to your college that gave you a degree and ask for a refund because they did not teach you how to think, how to reason. They taught you how to pass tests, how to memorize crap like a stupid parrot. I'm going to repeat stuff. I'm going to repeat stuff. You don't get it. But that's okay. It's okay not to get it. What's not okay is to think that you get it, make a stupid statement, and run off like a sniper. It's like running out of the bushes, sniping something, and then running out. Oh, that's lens law. Boom. Oh, that's an 80 current. Boom. No. You didn't explain anything. You also didn't explain the difference between this and this. Okay? And it certainly has nothing to do with how it's spun up, either clockwise or counterclockwise. It doesn't have any bearing on that at either. It has to do with the fact that there is a huge difference between centripetal magnetism and centrifugal magnetism because, because, listen up, I'm going to give you the answer to this one. There's a huge difference between force and motion and inertia and acceleration. Do you get that? A Gauss meter doesn't know the difference. It measures flow. Flux. Flux. If someone were to measure the flow or the flux of water pouring down a spout as opposed to shooting out of a hose or thing doesn't know the difference. This is a huge difference. This is force in motion. Water that's shooting out of a hose, out of a sink, that is force in motion. This is inertia and acceleration. That is why this behaves differently here as opposed to here. Do you get that? Is it clear to you now? Is it sunk in? Has it reached your brain at some level of comprehension? You're just being mean. No, I'm not being mean. The most popular video that I've ever posted on YouTube 
has thousands and thousands of parrots going, Rrrr, itty current, itty current, rrrr, lens law, lens law, lens law. <laughs> if the answer was that simple, I wouldn't have even posted the video to begin with. The third most popular statement on the most popular video that I've ever uploaded on YouTube is that, oh, well, everybody knows this is just simple eddy currents, you know, this is... Really? Why don't you go find me a book? Any book! And I will give you a million dollars right now. Go find me any book that talks about the difference or even the fact that they exist between centrifugal divergent magnetism and centripetal convergent magnetism. No such book exists. It doesn't exist. Except for mine, by the way. It does not exist. I'm not being grumpy. I'm not being mad. I'm simply pointing out your intellectual errors, your deficiencies of comprehension. This is about learning something. Okay? This is about doing something that you never did in high school or college, which was being taught how to think and to reason, instead of how to memorize crap, how to pass tests, how to get an A on a test, so the teacher could push you on to the next grade and the next and the next, and you never learned how to think on your own. You are not a thinker. You are a parent. You are a memory disk. A hard drive storing information, but unable to put any of it together. I can add two and two. I can multiply. I can do it. Great. You memorized how to do stuff, but did you figure out how to think? Did they teach you that? No. That stuff isn't taught anymore. Because nobody really knows how to teach it. A few people do, but not many. Okay. Do you get my point? Do you feel me, brother? You, do you get where I'm coming from? If you say eddy current or lens law, then don't even post, okay? Because there is no book on earth that makes a distinction between inertia and acceleration and force and motion. A Gauss meter will tell you the fluxian density is the same here as it is here. A Gauss meter does not know the difference between inertia and acceleration and force and motion. This is the secret of this video. This is the secret of the most popular video out of 2,400 videos that I have posted. The most popular video, at least according to YouTube. The most popular. Do you feel me yet? Do you make sense? Have you connected the dots? Okay? I hope you did. If not, so be it. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.